Hi everybody, it's February 12, 2018. I find it a little funny that the Department of Homeland Security, there's a new federal bill targeting patriots and citizen militia groups as domestic terrorists. Why do we need a new federal bill targeting patriots and citizen militias when the Department of Homeland Security for the last decade has been in documents describing as terrorists, those domestic terrorists, virtually every American. We're all domestic terrorists. And if you don't know that <laughs> you may be exhibiting some behavior or speaking certain things that you regard as rather innocent, the Department of Homeland Security does not believe that it's innocent. In fact, well, if you love the Constitution and express it indirectly or directly, hell, if you are speaking in your home about your love of the Constitution, well, you know those appliances, if you got that Alexa, if you got that cell phone, even your TV, it's recording your conversations. So, your government knows that you are whatever you say you are in your own home. Scary, isn't it? But so many Americans just don't care. They go, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. So, I don't care if the government intrudes upon my privacy. All right, but let's say you have a bumper sticker Let's say you have a Ron Paul bumper sticker or any kind of bumper sticker that refers to your love of your own freedom, liberty, and of course the Constitution. You are labeled a domestic terrorist. If you have any bumper sticker or you left comments here in the Cyberland or you have talked to other people about how you regard the Second Amendment as important. You are a domestic terrorist. You're a prepper. You have stocked up on food and water, medical supplies. Even though your government periodically has come out, the Department of Homeland Security has come out and told you to prep for disaster. But if you have done that, you're a domestic terrorist fear of economic collapse, your religious views. Do you talk about the Antichrist, the apocalypse? You're a domestic terrorist. Have you talked about big brother, big government? You're not too happy with the size of the federal government? You are a domestic terrorist. Homeschooling. Well, if you homeschool your children, you are a domestic terrorist. Any declarations about the Constitution civil liberties and your belief in that conspiracy that mm, there are these globalists who are redesigning the world into this new world order you are a domestic terrorist you belong to a militia group you are a domestic terrorist your right-wing politics you're an extremist and therefore you're a domestic terrorist and the infrastructure is all set and it has been operating for many, many years. Those fusion centers all over the country collecting data, personal information about every American. They go into the fusion centers from law enforcement. They keep watch lists. This domestic surveillance has been way out of control a whole long time ago. And I will say this, Trump supporters, don't you think that if Trump were to make America great again, he would abide by the Constitution, he would be talking about that Constitution and enforcing that Constitution and bringing back all of those amendments that gave us, you know, rights, freedom, privacy, but he's not doing that. He's not doing that. So many, many, many articles, my God. <laughs> and they date back 
certainly to, oh, let's say 2002. Suddenly people were writing about, hmm, what is our government doing? That Patriot Act. How did they get that over 1,000 page? Had they drafted over 1,000 pages? Soon became legislation only like 10 days after 9-11. I might be a little bit wrong on the timing, but it was a really short amount of time. And boom, there it was. Nobody read it, but everybody, everybody voted for it. They didn't read it. They voted for it. That Patriot Act was already waiting for September 11, 2001, for those World Trade Centers to go down. It was drafted before September 11. I guess they knew something was going to happen. The Patriot Act pretty much destroyed the Constitution. Yes, Department of Homeland Security labels liberty lovers as potential terrorists. This is back in 2012. Hell, let me just show you. Let me please. And this is nowhere near the amount of videos that I have posted on YouTube for my well, two Kafka Winston World channels. But, you know, all of this has been going on for a long, long, long time. The stripping of our freedom, the stripping of our constitutional rights. And Americans, well, now we're in 2018. And so many have been warning, warning, loudly, screaming it. Hey, wake up! After September 11, 2001, many are still screaming, wake up, hey, look at what your government's doing. It just grew bigger. The surveillance grew more expansive. And every president, even Trump, has signed on to all of that legislation that either maintains or further expands the surveillance against Americans. Chomsky warns of risk of fascism in America, imperialism and fashion, uh, fascism on the rise in the U.S. It's not fascism when we do it. No, it's not fashion and fascism when we do it because we are the free country, right? Right? We're all free here. So whatever our government is doing, it's not, it, it, this is, it's not fascist. They're protecting us, Carol, don't you see? From kindergarten to university, homeland security culture in America. Warning to America, that comes from a U.S. general. Yes, warning. You are being taken over. The TSA is just part of the surveillance against Americans. Ay, God. I mean, look at these videos. And it so doesn't capture how much I posted, but when you think, okay, I'm just one channel, and think about all of the channels out there, and so many have been out there for years and years and years, and everything has just gotten worse. Rumsfeld and Cheney revived their 70s terror playbook, NSA domestic surveillance, was going on long before 9-11. Spy agencies sought U.S. call records before 9-11. Similar wiretap debate was 30 years ago. Terror alerts manufactured, just like what I'm going to read to you that has been posted on Activist Post today. But yes, then you hear these, these unbelievably sick, twisted psychopaths like Diane Feinstein. Yes, she, sick little twisted bird, what did she do? Well, she was all for that gun confiscation.
Let me get those guns from Americans. Let me take them away. Here, Feinstein, unveiling gun grab plan. Obama sponsored a United Nations treaty threatening the Second Amendment. Obama expected to sign Global Gun Control Treaty. I mean, it's fascinating. When you have been at this for such a long time, and please, all of you who have been at this for such a long time, and still, Americans, they could give a crap about what's going on in this country. They don't care. And look, I understand that the frequencies and the toxic overload of all of these poisons contribute, contribute to this sick, twisted American psyche that is in an awful lot of individuals. But, hell, 2001, 2002, I was trying to have conversations with those Americans, my friends. And they didn't care about the truth then. Even my entire adult life. I could see the self-centeredness within Americans. I was on that low level of consciousness for a long period of time. I was eager driven and it looked really good what I was doing right and I have been a justice freak so I'm not you know I'm not saying that I chose a path just to look good I chose that path because justice really meant something to me so I chose the path of becoming an attorney found out <laughs> shortly after when practicing that there is no justice but it was mostly about me. Get those degrees on the wall. Get that home. Get that car. Get those, uh, that clothing. And hang out with other professionals. And then you are a success. You're regarded as a success. All of those degrees garner you respect and it all meant nothing and that's where most Americans live at that low level of consciousness I've said this before when you do the work on those personal issues it's really fascinating because when you resolve them wow you get a whole new perspective and you can really see how trapped Americans are trapped by their own personal issues. When you raise that level of consciousness, you can see how many, how many are so stuck at a level of consciousness that is ego driven and you realize, okay, what is, what is the most important thing here? What's the solution? Oh, it's not about obtaining knowledge about what's going on, though that's very, very important. But what good is knowledge if you don't do anything with it? If you don't have that generative care within you? Do I stop saying this? How do I stop saying this? When I absolutely do 100% believe that if the individual does not change, we will not manifest any change. And how anybody could think that they're going to manifest any kind of change without they themselves changing, they are, well, clearly not thinking quite right. Obama. Obama has, has used the same symbols as Hitler, the same kind of legislation that came out of Congress after 9-11-2001 was the legislation that the Nationalist Socialists passed in Nazi Germany. But who cares? 
U.S. Patriot Act planned before 9-11. It's... And the videos. American teenager jailed as terrorist for Facebook post. Atlanta fire chief fired for expressing his beliefs. The An Amish raw milk farmer raided by SWAT teams. Americans judged most brutal regime. Paramilitary rise in America. CIA. Americans, you're not immune. You're not immune if you act against our government. An Austrian World War II survivor warns America, hey, this is what happened in Nazi Austria. Comply or else. Fourth Amendment protections. Dead. Congress authorizes use of propaganda. Hey, Americans. Your Congress passed legislation or repealed legislation that forbid propaganda to be used against Americans. And what'd you do? Nothing. Who cares? Go ahead, lie. We all know that you lie anyway. So you may as well just make it legal for yourselves to lie. Court rules, warrantless wiretaps, legal. Department of Homeland Security Fusion Center collects data on citizens. Department of Homeland Security orders explosives. Remember this? Remember years ago? All of our federal agencies, they were prepping. Oh, but they're not considered domestic terrorists. That's right. But they were stockpiling ammunition and weaponry. Even the Department of Social Security so many agencies. Oh well, I guess those federal agencies knew that we were going to get invaded by some foreign terrorists, so they had to protect us, right? Department of Defense blocks millions of computers from viewing alternate views or news. Domestic Terrorism Committee revived, no doubt after some false flag or staged event, Ex-intelligence officer reveals New World Order plans. Feinstein introduced a bill to confiscate guns. Federal police force, you probably don't know about that has been unleashed and is deadly. Government wipes recent vaccine injury data from website. What the government doesn't want you to know, they just wipe it off the internet. That's it. You're not going to you're not going to know any of this. Government stealing from Americans. Georgia forcibly a woman in Georgia forcibly strapped down, or no, it was a man, and blood was taken. How political dissent equates with terrorism? Oh, yes. You don't agree with your government. You don't agree with your politicians. You're a domestic terrorist. Habeas corpus, what Obama said then and now. Yeah, our presidents love to lie. And we accept it over and over and over again. Lies. Man, you know, people who lie, they need people to accept those lies. Because if people don't accept the lies, the lie dies. It's the acceptance. It's like it's the, uh, the, the watering can. You know, the lie is the seed, and the acceptance waters the seed. And if that acceptance continues, then, wow, well, you have a field that is so remarkably repulsive. We're living in that field. And you know what? These lies, when people lie and lie and lie and lie and lie, and it's like lie upon lie upon lie upon lie, it, it's so difficult to kind of extract yourself from them to try to understand what the hell is going on. But this country has been built on lies. Yep, 
I'm going to say it again. Russell Means, what did he say? A country that is founded on deception will die by deception. And man, are so many dying now. A high school hero stops fight and gets punished. He did something good. He got punished. Immunity for intel officers for crimes committed. That's right. Give those intelligence, uh, those who work in intelligence, they have immunity. They can commit crimes. To, well, okay. They have to because they're protecting you. That's right. They have to commit crimes to protect you. So that's why they got immunity. Internment resettlement operations. Our military has those camps. And they are waiting to re-educate you, to resettle you. The police brutality. And Americans can't see that we are now and have been for many years living a police state, not in that country that they used to live in. Justice Breyer, even Supreme Court justice, came out and warned Americans that this country is turning into an Orwellian police state. A man jailed for hosting Bible study, large scale military movements, killing Americans justified. Yeah, our government officials justify the killing of Americans without due process. And Marines training with local law enforcement. Well, habeas, uh, not habeas corpus, um, posse comitatus. Oh, that's gone too. Americans did nothing. Habeas corpus, gone. Oh, who cares? Privacy, gone. Who, who cares? Americans can be detained indefinitely. Military can come to your house, pull you outside of your house. Your family don't get to know anything. The, the person who has been captured by our military, they don't, they don't have a right anymore to know the charges, to uh, have that one phone call, um, to get an attorney. They don't they can just be thrown into a cell and remain there forever. And it's legal. And Americans did nothing. Media blacks out protest men, the media, an arm of our government, the propaganda tool of our government, just like Soviet Union. We all grew up knowing, oh my God, those Soviets, wow, what they do to their citizens and their propaganda outlets. And we just felt so badly that they were just receiving all of this propaganda. And now we've lived it. We've lived it for so long. And Americans, well, they live in a free country. We live in the best country, USA, USA, USA. Michael Hastings was murdered, murdered by our government and the FDA had access to his emails and then he was murdered. Michigan police state demands the killing of pigs for looking different. Yes. NSA recruiters destroyed by students. That was a good one. Department of Homeland Security report Uh, domestic terrorists suppressing dissent, NSA rejecting every FOIA request made by U.S. citizens. God, we've become so incredibly lawless, and it has been so obvious for so many years that our government does whatever the hell it wants to do, or Congress passes legislation to protect themselves. They make legal for them what's illegal for us, they don't abide by the law if they want to suppress information, so they just don't. That's our legal system today. The elite commit crimes, horrendous crimes, get away with it. We have a two-tiered legal system. We've had it for so long. Who cares? Who cares? I have my cell phone. I get to watch TV. 
NSA spying, the whistleblower Russell Tice, who came out long before Snowden did. But for some reason, Snowden, well, the world, the world knew about his revelations of the spying on American citizens. But Russell Tice, he was coming out saying it long before that. New York City rounding up mentally ill, Obama with his executive actions, 23 uh, just for gun control, Obama administration secretly collecting Verizon call records, but he came out and said, oh, come on, it's just this uh, metadata, you know, it's metadata, don't worry, Americans. And they believed him, they believed the lies, they believed the lies, they accept the lies, metadata doesn't even reveal your name, so just don't worry. All of it a lie. Obama has authority to kill Americans. Who gave him that authority? Was it our Congress? Oh, but I thought that there were separate but equal branches. You know, that tension, you know, the Founding Fathers, they set up this government and three branches, you got the White House, you got the Supreme Court, you got Congress, and they all have their own powers. And it was, it was a check on each other, right? So if one usurps the power of another, you would think that that branch would say, no, we ain't giving you power. It's our power. And power, man, people like having power. But what we really saw, oh my God, so obviously during the Obama years in particular, was the Congress just submitting to the president over and over and over and over again. Here you go, Obama. Here, you got more power. Take our power away. We don't want it. We're not power hungry representatives of the Americans. Oh wait, we don't even represent Americans. We represent corporations. And the U.S. government is a corporation. So, Obama, you're not the president. You are the CEO of the United States Government Corporation. And, well, as the CEO, you have more power than us. Police are now a threat to Americans. Police arrest woman for having bottled water. Police degrade woman, woman during routine traffic stop. Police out of control flip disabled woman out of her wheelchair. Police state actions. Police right here. Oh, that was a football game. A football game. And, well, the police had to show up in, in riot gear. Because those football fans just got out of control. Obama, lone wolf terrorist. Oh, the propaganda. Oh, the propaganda. Get afraid of that lone wolf terrorist who might be your next door neighbor. They look okay. They look almost kind of like you. And they seem sane, but they can be a lone wolf terrorist. Be very, very scared. Obama now diagnosing veterans to take their guns away. Police use social media to determine threats to government. Police state lockdown. Police stop. So degrading, humiliating. Pregnant woman beaten by three police officers. Police use pre-crime algorithms to target innocent citizens as potential criminals. And they've been using these algorithms for a while. President now prosecutor, judge, jury on killing Americans. Yeah, it's true. Kill list. And you don't get to know. You don't get to know. The president, he can determine who he wants to kill. He can go after them and kill them. And it is, it is a national security issue, Americans, so you don't get to know any of the information, any of the evidence that the president had. Private paramilitaries now here protecting corporations. Ron Paul came out and said, we now live in a police state years ago. Police execute man with his hands up. 
Hey, take a terrorist test. Find out if you are a terrorist. And you probably are, according to our government. Supporting Second Amendment is a mental disorder. Spying violates your constitutional rights. Glenn Greenwald, Feinstein is lying. U.S. false flag propaganda, same as Nazi propaganda. United States is a surveillance state destroying privacy worldwide, targeting Christian and veterans and guns. Oh, you're a Christian? You're a domestic terrorist. You're a veteran? You're a domestic terrorist. You got guns? You're a domestic terrorist. Victim? <laughs> Americans who call the police now? You better be careful because you could get attacked by the police for calling the police to help you. U.S. government, the domestic enemy that needs indefinite detention. White House study finds disarming free people leads to more violence. So our government knows the information, it got the data, it funded the studies, it learned that an armed citizenry is more safe and crime goes down. Oh, but man, do they want our guns, right? They know disarming Americans will lead to more violence. So, yeah, when you see under Trump, he already signing off on renewals of the surveillance state. He appointed these new um, Department of Homeland Security officials. They come out with this. Do you think Trump is not going to sign this? No. It's same old, same old going on. It has been going on for such a long time, and it's very frustrating to see how many people refuse, refuse to take in that, yeah, Trump played you just like Obama played his supporters and Bush played his supporters, Clinton, Bush, Jesus. And this idea, this idea that a savior is going to fix anything, <laughs> no. The Domestic Terrorism Prevention Act of 2018, specifically targeting patriots, right-wing extremists, as if they have to... You know, why? Why? Why even pass any legislation any longer? Well, they have to, because that in itself allows Americans to maintain their delusion that they actually have a government that works for them. I mean, at this point... It's ridiculous. Don't bother passing any legislation. Just do whatever the hell you want to do because that's what you've been doing all along. Why do you have to make all of these, you know, things official at this point? We know we're living in a fascist police state on steroids. FBI, the definition of a domestic terrorist is individuals and or groups inspired by or associated with primarily U.S.-based movements that espouse extremist ideologies of a political, religious, social, racial, or environmental nature. FBI notes that in this legislation, they actually note this June 8, 2014, Las Vegas shooting, shooting of two police officers in a restaurant, and the person who was trying to stop it got shot, and the FBI... The bill actually states um, these deranged murderers with the Patriot Act label. Do, do Americans actually believe, they believe their FBI, they believe their intelligence agencies, they believe their president, they believe, you know, the people in Congress, they actually believe their Supreme Court justices that rule for corporations and this New World Order 
um, very often, oh yes, they sometimes rule in favor of Americans. They throw out a crumb and Americans go, wow, everything's turning around. Now I can sit back and watch TV. No, they throw out crumbs for you, just like Trump has. So the FBI, so many articles coming out over the years, the FBI, man, these false flags, uh, these terrorist attacks that they thwart have been created by the FBI. We have such a disgusting, despicable, criminal, psychopathic government. And our Americans still think, rah, rah, we're better than everybody else. We're morally superior. FBI lies all the time. So it attaches a Patriot label to these murderers who killed these police. But the bill failed to mention that these supposed Patriot movement domestic terrorists were actually banished from real Patriot groups because they were on the police payroll and known to be provocateurs. Yes, your government lies to you all of the time. The bill goes further to credit the Southern Poverty Law Center, a group who makes hundreds of millions of dollars selling hate by labeling anyone they disagree with politically as a hate group. Southern Poverty Law Center, just another tool for our government to put out all of this crap, these lies, they make it up, And all one needs to do is just some research to find out, to find out the truth. Americans hate the truth. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center in, two, in 2015, for the first time in five years, the number of hate groups in the United States rose by 14%. The increase included a more than twofold rise in the number of Ku Klux Klan chapters the number of anti-government militias and patriot groups also grew by 14% in 2015. So you've got to pass legislation. Yes, Americans need to be warned of those patriots who, well, they kind of liked the original founding of this government, and they don't like the government as it is behaving right now. Oh, you're a terrorist. John Stossel even pointed out, that the SPLC, Southern Poverty, Poverty Law Center, once fought useful uh, fights. And they did years ago. But they don't now. Now they go after people on the right with whom they disagree. You disagree? You're politically incorrect? You are considered to be on the right, so your thoughts, your views, your ideology, they have equated that with terrorism. This is very scary. This is very serious. It's been serious for a really long time. And they make a killing doing it. Whoa, money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Antifa somehow is not on the Southern Poverty Law Center's radar, right? They're not a militant hate group, Antifa. They're not a violent group. It's Trump supporters. It's those on the right, like Ben Carson, Fox commentators, Laura Ingram, and Judge Andrew Napolitano, and Jeannie Pirro. Janine Pirro. Oh, they, they're extremists, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. Now, if anybody knows the Southern Poverty Law Center, and you happen to be on the left, and you don't regard putting these people on a list, they're the Southern Poverty Law Center's watch list. If you don't see that something's very wrong here.
you should be labeled a domestic terrorist. The government is the largest purveyor of hate. It encourages people to hate. Yes, is this Orwellian? Absolutely. I'll link below to uh, all of these articles. I just came across this. This just posted. Video security drags woman from hearing for exposing big oil funding politicians. We have been a police state for a very, very long time. And yes, it is very, 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 very frustrating to have posted so much. And this is just a glimpse of what I have posted because I don't have access to a lot of those thumbnail external drive things. Yeah. I don't like living in a police state. I don't like living where my freedom has been taken away from me. I don't like living in a country that mandates vaccines. I don't like living in a country where you know that you're being killed off because they are spraying you like you are a, a roach. I don't like all of these cell towers and Gwen towers and all of this technology that has been weaponized and I get to suffer the consequences and I know that so many of you suffer the consequences. I don't like this. It is obvious. It is in our face. And no, I do not like all of the Americans who rationalize away what our government is doing, what our latest president is doing. I don't like Americans who ignore, willfully, they choose to willfully ignore the radical change that has taken place because they're just too comfortable. Because the fact is, those crazy new age lunatics who believe that you create your own reality as if the collective does not create a reality that we all have to live. Now, if we actually were still even had some semblance of that constitutional republic that was actually created for us, with every state having their own separate sovereign power and more power than that federal government, maybe states, if they had uh, a decent governor, they might be able to carve out their own way of living. But no, the federal government got too big. And the federal government, when you centralize power, you then have a tyrannical government. And we have centralized power in the federal government, and the federal government is now dictating how we all have to live. And the New Agers, because they still have money, they still have their jobs, they haven't suffered the consequences, they still believe, oh, this reality that I'm living has just been created by me, and I'm a leftist anyway, so I'm not a domestic terrorist. And those right-wing people with their views and their opinions, I don't like it, so I don't care that our government now regards them as domestic terrorists, so I don't have to take any action. We had, we had the chance, man. If we were people who were not of the lie, we did have a chance at creating something really extraordinary here. We had the chance to manifest something really extraordinary, the American experiment failed.